basically about just bidding yourself in life. It's not about you coming into a challenge with that you're trying to be better than anyone else. You just want to better yourself than you were before or yesterday. And for people who, different kind of form, shape and size as well. And it's just, just for us to push them to have a better life. Yeah, healthy life. Me and Mele didn't expect everyone to come back on the second week, so I guess we're building the culture around just not just training, but getting people to vibe together. Like many people are out from Mangri, from Rewa, all over South Auckland, so everybody's vibing together and just making new friends. So Jackie, way to work, good work, mate. Keep it up, keep it up. To be honest, Mele is, uh, let me see, she's a bit more famous than me out on the sports world out here, but. <laughs> here we go. Two minutes down. She's a really good speaker, especially a good trainer, you know. She uh, brings the vibe to everybody and she like she pushes people to their limits. That's the main thing about Melia. You know? She can push you to your limits with no excuses at all at training. Welcome to day three of our training. So for our say for today is impossible means I'm possible. Okay, the word itself says I'm possible. Okay? So much things happens in life, especially in our trainings for six weeks. And there's some things that you have never done before, but you always have that mentality, I cannot do this. It's impossible for me to do a burpee. It's impossible for me to do a frogs. Okay, but in that word, it says I'm possible. And in our training today, our two blocks, you are possible. Have that attitude, have that I can and I will attitude. It'll get you through our two blocks. Being a PI, Pacifica person, it's um, it's kind of it's not it's not fun at all knowing that your own member has diabetes. Okay? Your own your own mum, especially your mum, is diagnosed with diabetic type two, and that kind of motivates me and my family to get out there and do something like this. Say eh? like challenges, you know. That's the last thing we want is for other people to go through what we are going through. Not here to beat someone, okay? Or going harder than someone else. You go on your own pace because you're only challenging yourself. Our Polynesian people going through obesity, diabetes. You know, you walk into any doctors around here in South Auckland and it's packed with full of our people. And it's mainly because of diabetes and obesity and that. And I saw that, like, through my mother, you know, through my mum. You know, she went through diabetes and all that. So it was a time for me to, like, just start changing people's lives and that. But that's my hope of it. Let's go, buddy. Be your feet off the ground. And that's the main cause of this training stuff. That's why it's very, very important for me and Melly to do this. Way to work. Those are the people that we want to help more eh? and push them to, you know, not become diabetic, you know, and for the next generation as well. One thing that my mom has taught me in life is that the saying in Tongan, like, I got that gigelai. And that means, like, even though, like, times get hard, times get tough, you know, just give it your all. And these challenges motivates me, eh? like knowing the fact is that I've got nothing in my hands, you know, I've got nothing in my hands, but if I give my all to people and give my time and commitment to them, and if I believe in them, you know, anything could happen.